In this video, we're going to be tying the triple surgeons knot for connecting two lines together of different sizes. This is uh, both lines are mono, as you can see here. Uh, one is uh, this one on the on this side is much lighter than the one on the on the left. And uh, the great thing about the surgeon knot, it is very easy to tie. Really, people of all ages can tie it, even little kids, and it is extremely strong. It is actually one of the strongest line-to-line -line knots that I've uh, that I've tested and I've tested a ton of them and uh, the cool thing is that it is very easy to tie the only bad thing is is that you have to tie this before you tie uh, your your terminal tack hold to the end of your leader so the first step is uh, is get the leader line which is the sticker one to cut off however length of, of leader you want in this case I'm having about uh, two feet of line so once the the line is set what you do is you overlap the two I have the the actual main line going to the rod in my right hand, uh, pointing towards the left. I have the leader line in my left, pointing toward the right. Overlap the two, um, any, anywhere from four to six inches, whatever you're most comfortable with. And then uh, just grab a hold of it. You can see that in the middle here, there's two lines. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie a simple overhand knot. So basically all that's doing is just looping the lines around. So what we do now is we get the tag in. This is the main line, which is still pointing over here toward the left, because it was just a basic a basic little loop is we're going to take that through this loop three times that's why it's called the triple surgeon's knot it's done three times and not only not only this but also the leader has to go with it so they go in tandem both of them go in through the together you see the the tag goes through quickly and easily but i have to thread the leader through so that's one and we'll tighten it down a little bit so you can see what's going on so that's the first of three times we do that we'll do it again for number two Get, again, both lines go through there, and then once it's done, just thread the full length of the leader through the loop. And so that's two, and then the third one is just the same exact thing. So you just do the same thing three times. So let me just get that. Again, thread the leader all the way through. So once that's complete, you should have something that looks a bit like this, where you can see the two tag ends are both sticking up from opposite directions, and then the main line is coming off from this direction, the leader is going from this direction, and it's just basically one loop. So what we do is we grab all four lines that are coming out of the loop, the two tags and the two main lines, and pull them in unison. And what will happen is there will be like a nice looking little figure eight, and that will condense even further, and just pull it with as much tension as you can. And after you've tightened with all four strands, you just drop the tags, hold on to the main line, as well as the leader, and just pull, cinch it down. All right, so here's the completed knot. As you can see, it was just very basic, but again, it is very, very strong. The last step is just to cut off the tag ends, and we can cut them very close because this knot will not budge. So there is one. Here's the leader tag. And we are done. So again, there is the knot. Get it in focus there for you. Again, very, very strong line to line knot. Very good in the fact that it can connect two lines of any type and any size. And again, it has just been testing to be very, very strong and it is shocking how easy it is to tie as well. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, see you on the next video.